name is Fiona Hughes and I work as an advisor for Natural Resources Wales's Health, Education and Natural Resources team. Do you want to use the outdoors and maximise the opportunities for learning and play but not sure what to do? Maybe lacking in confidence or inspiration? Well look no further, we're here to help. Hi, I'm Alid. I also work as an advisor in the same team as Fionn. Having fun, playing and learning in the outdoors brings many benefits to both health and well-being. From motorcycle tai chi to a mud-themed bake-off, we're going to share lots of exciting outdoor learning activities and ideas with you. So you can head outdoors into your local garden, park, beach or woodland and use them, have fun with your children. Evidence from across the world shows that being in nature is good for our health and happiness. It can encourage physical activity by offering a variety of activities that engage children and young people regardless of age, ability, fitness level or gender. Being active outdoors helps to build strong hearts, lungs and muscles. Walking on uneven surfaces helps to develop balance and coordination. Spending time in a variety of landscapes helps to encourage physical activity and a connection to nature. Natural environments are vibrant and flexible spaces that are constantly changing. Did you know that research shows that 80% of the world's happiest people have a strong connection to nature? Being outdoors in the natural environment encourages child-led learning, provides space to explore, meet challenges and manage risk, helping your children to grow up to be happy and successful individuals. We are biased, but we think that Wales' biggest and best learning environment is its great outdoors. Don't take our word for it. If you'd like to know more, check out the Outdoor Learning Research section of our website to access the latest research and learn why being outdoors is good for both you and your children. We've developed a suite of activity packs crammed with ideas for you to have fun with your children outdoors, all of which are available on our website. Want to get, explore and get creative in nature? Look no further than our Getting Creative Outdoors pack. All of the following activities can be adapted for use in the woodland or the beach, in a local park, in your garden or school grounds. The activities have come from many different sources and have been altered and adapted over the years. All the natural resources you need to complete these are easily collectible, so when you're out and about you don't need to take a ton of resources and kit with you, freeing you up to relax, explore and enjoy. From our Moon Shadow Baby activity, which involves using natural materials to create as detailed an outline as possible of members of your family or group, to making a leaf crown, from a muddy marvellous bake off, to mud painting. There are 26 activities in our Getting Creative Outdoors pack for you to try. This next activity explores measurement, height, weight, mass, capacity and 3D shape without your children even knowing. A good sense of coordination is required. Check out our Pebble Towers activity. Whether it be developing vocabulary, storytelling, composing poetry, developing mark making or recognising letters, the natural environment provides a wealth of inspiration. Many of our natural resources can be used to promote language and literacy whilst improving knowledge and understanding of natural features and processes. Our Language and Literacy Outdoors pack has got 18 activity suggestions for you to try. So whether you want to try your hand at writing an acrostic poem, Create natural characters to star in a story. Or want inspiration on how to take books such as The Lost Words Outside? Check out our webpage. Ouch. I'm going to let you into a little secret. This isn't a feather. This is a fairy's broom. A goblin's back scratcher. An ant's flying carpet. Our next activity 
repurposes natural objects using descriptive language and brings out a lot of imagination. Why not try our Nature's Fibs activity? Using their senses allows children to explore the natural environment, learn about the world around them and themselves. From being active and exploring the outdoors, to giving a tree a hug, to making a smelly nature scent, to trying out one of our listening activities. You don't need a lot of props and resources, just use what you can find in the natural environment Encourage your children to take a break from the screen, slow the pace and get outdoors, enjoying being in nature and let them just be. Evidence from across the world shows that being in the natural environment is good for us in many ways and by establishing a connection to nature at a young age, healthy, lifelong behaviours can be established. It is known that walking barefoot enhances health and provides feelings of well-being. Check out our video. No matter what time of year it is, there is always a great variety of wildlife to see. To spark your children's interest, try out some of the games and activities in our Animals and Habitats pack. From nest building, to a game of owl and mouse, to building an animal home. The 25 activities and games within the booklet focus on exploring how animals are adapted to the environment and what they need to live. Why not get your children finding out what lives in the undergrowth of your garden or local woodland? A micro mini bee safari is our next activity which encourages investigating habitats through different perspectives and scales. Who doesn't love a bug hunt? You just never know what you're going to find. This activity encourages children to see the world through the eyes of a mini beast. surrounds us, so why not make the most of the natural environment and engage your children in some practical, meaningful activities? From finding out the age and height of a tree, to sorting and categorising leaves, to discovering if you can move faster than a hedgehog. The 24 games and activities in a maths numeracy pack are interactive and have been designed to get your children moving.
This next activity looks at symmetry in a creative way, supporting children to understand and use the properties of position and movement to create a reflective or rotational picture using natural materials. There are many things children can do to give nature and the environment a helping hand. They can take part in citizen science surveys and submit their results, grow flowers to help pollinators, create a wildlife hotel or give grey water which has come from the dreaded washing up to the garden. There are lots of ways children can get involved and play their part. If you want to learn about nature and give them a home at the same time, why not give our wormery activity a go? Find out more in this next video. support for outdoor learning and play, why not join the Outdoor Learning Wales Network, which Natural Resources Wales facilitates. There are local network groups to provide advanced guidance and support on a local level, or you can get a daily dose of inspiration by following us on Twitter. Our hashtag is at underscore OLW underscore. Or why not join our Outdoor Learning Wales closed Facebook group to share and discuss with like-minded individuals. You can access all the activities and packs we've mentioned on our web pages www.naturalresources.wales forward slash learning or drop us an email to education at naturalresourceswales.gov.uk Thanks for listening and we hope we've given you some inspiration and ideas on how to get your children outdoors learning and playing in, learning about and learning for the natural environment.